Let's draw the cis and trans structures of hex 2 ene. Step one, let's draw this molecule to see what's even cis and trans to each other. Hex means that there are six carbons in the chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. 2-ene means that there is a double bond starting at carbon two. That's carbon one, two. So I'm gonna make my double bond start at carbon two and go to the next carbon, carbon three. Now I've got to fill this out with hydrogens. Each carbon needs four bonds total, which is usually easy for the tetrahedral ones that have four bonds. But the ones that have double bonds only need one hydrogen each. Uh, put another way, this carbon needs four bonds. It already has one, two, three bonds to it. Now, I prob and you probably see what's going to be cis and trans to each other. You have to decide if you're going to put the hydrogens both on the same side of this double bond, you know, let's slice it this way. Are you going to put the hydrogens on the same side of the double bond or opposite sides of the double bond? You get to choose, and in fact, that's why there are two uh, different isomers here. The one that has hydrogens on the same side of the double bond is the cis isomer, and the exact same molecule, but with the hydrogens drawn on opposite sides of the double bond, is the trans isomer. Now, the way that I'm drawing this makes it look like the bonds are 90 degrees here. These bonds are actually 109, but it's in three dimensions. The ones around the double bond, these are all supposed to be 120 degrees. So I'm going to redraw these with that bond angle shown. You know what? Before I do that, why don't I emphasize this is the trans isomer? Because across the double bond, the hydrogens, which are identical atoms, are on opposite sides. Uh, of the molecule relative to each other. Okay, I'm going to start at this double bond here with the two carbons. Now I'm going to draw the cis isomer, which has the hydrogens on the same side. And I am making sure to give this about a 120 degree angle, kind of looks like half a hexagon. Then down here, we have our methyl group, CH3. And down here, we actually have, uh, I guess that's a propyl group. I'm going to write CH2, CH2, CH3 just so you can see that there are still six C's there. The other isomer here has the same double bond, but one hydrogen goes upward, the other hydrogen goes downward, opposite sides. There you go, CH3, and then the other one here is CH2, CH2, CH3. These are not the same molecule, even though they have the same formula, and that's because the double bond, you can't, you can't rotate around it. It's rigid, it's stuck. So to have the hydrogens on opposite sides versus the same side affects the symmetry of the molecule. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.